So the third question that we have here, we have been given two moles of helium gas with a gamma value of 5 by 3 and temperature equal to 300 Kelvin and volume is equal to 20 liters initially. Now the gas is expanded isobarically that is at constant pressure to double its volume. Now this gas goes another process, another adiabatic process in which its temperature reduces to its, uh, the temperature comes back to its original value, value of 300 Kelvin. We need to find out the final pressure and volume of the gas after this process and the work done by the gas in the whole process. So, to get an idea of what is happening, the first best thing to do is draw the graph. It is generally more comfortable drawing the uh, pressure volume graph, so I am drawing the pressure volume graph. This just gives us a clear picture of what is happening, so it is always advisable to draw the graph first. Initially, 2 moles of helium gas was at a temperature of 27 degrees Celsius and 20 liters. Let this be 20 liters. So, initially the gas was at this point with a pressure of, uh, the value of the pressure is not given, the temperature is given to be 300 Kelvin. The temperature here is 300 Kelvin. This is, let this be point A. Now, under constant pressure, it doubles its volume. So, it goes to a point where the volume is doubled. The volume at this point will be 40 liters. Let this be point B. Now, the gas returns to its original temperature. Original temperature means the temperature at this point via an adiabatic process. Now, since it is returning back to the original temperature, let us draw an isotherm over here. The point C to which the gas finally comes must lie on this isothermal curve of 300 Kelvin because in a pressure volume graph, the isotherms are all like this. So, here we have an isotherm, the temperature to this point C will be 300 Kelvin and the gas came through an adiabatic process to this point C from point B. So, this gives us a final clear picture of what is happening. The gas went from A to B and then came back to C from B via an adiabatic process. This is an adiabatic process. So, we now need to find out the final pressure and volume of gas. So, we need to find out P C and V C. That is the pressure and volume of the gas at the point C. So, for that, let us first write the equation P A V A is equal to P C into V C. This is true because A to C is an isotherm. Therefore, P A V A is equal to P C V C. Now, for this adiabatic process, we know that P V raised to the power gamma is equal to constant for an adiabatic process. Therefore, P B into V B raised to the power gamma is equal to P C into V C raised to the power gamma. Using P V raised to the power gamma is constant for an adiabatic process. Therefore, now P B is equal to P A. Therefore, we can write P A. V B is equal to 2 times V A. Therefore, we can write 2 V A raised to the power gamma that is equal to 5 by 3 is equal to P C into V C raised to the power 5 by 3. Now, checking out these two equations, if we divide them, we get V A upon 2 raised to the 5 by 3 into V A raised to the power 5 by 3. This is equal to V C upon V C raised to the power 5 by 3. Therefore, what we get here is that V C raised to the power 2 by 3, this is equal to 2 raised to the power 5 by 3 into V A raised to the power 2 by 3. Therefore, we get the value of V C in terms of V A that is V C raised to the power 2 by 3 is equal to 2 raised to the power 5 by 3 into V A raised to the power 2 by 3. So, now let us take power 3 by 2 on all both sides to give us V C is equal to 2 raised to the power 5 by 3 into 3 by 2 into V A. This gives us V C is equal to 2 raised to the power 5 by 2 that is equal to 4 root 2 times V A. Now, the value of V A is given to be equal to 20 liters. Therefore, the value of V C comes out to be equal to 80 root 2 liters. 
So now the second part left is to find out PC that is the pressure at the point C. This is pretty simple. We can write PA VA is equal to PC VC. PA VA can, be, can be written as NRTA number of moles is given 2 into R into temperature at A that is 300. This is equal to PC into VC. The value of VC is given here 80 root 2. On solving this, we get the value of pressure PC to be equal to 4.4 into 10 raised to the power 4 pascals. So, we get the value of PC and VC. Now, we need to find out the work done by the gas. Let us write the answers over here. This is 4.4 into 10 raised to the power 4 pascals. This is 80 root 2 that is around about 113 liters. So now we solve for work done by the gas. So we now need to find out the work done by the gas. The work done by the gas in the whole process can be broken into work done by the gas from A to B plus work done by the gas from B to C. Work done by the gas from A to B is pretty, pretty simple because it is an isobaric process that is constant pressure. At constant pressure, the work can be written as P into V final minus V initial. This is equal to NR T final minus T initial because P into V final is NRT final. This is NRT initial that gives us NR delta T. Now, we know that for this constant uh, pressure process, VA upon TA is equal to VB upon TB. Now, VB is equal to 2 times VA. Therefore, TB is equal to 2 times TA that is Tb is equal to 600 Kelvin. So, delta T is equal to Tb minus Ta that is equal to 300 Kelvin. So, we substitute that here number of moles is 2 the value of R is 25 by 3 delta T comes out to be equal to 300 to give us the work done from A to B to be equal to 50 into 100 5000 joules. Now, we need to find out work done by the gas from B to C. Now, B to C is an adiabatic process. For an adiabatic process, work done can be directly written to be equal to P initial V initial minus P final V final upon gamma minus 1. It is important to remember this formula. The work done by the gas is equal to P initial V initial minus P final V final upon gamma minus 1 in the case of an adiabatic process. Now, P initial V initial that is P B V B. Instead, we can write this as nr t initial minus nr t final upon gamma minus 1 this is equal to nr that is 2 into 25 by 3 into t initial minus t final upon gamma minus 1 that is equal to 2 by 3 so this gets cancelled t initial is tb this was 600 kelvin as we had already found out 600 minus 300 is 300 Therefore, this becomes equal to 7500 joules. So, the total work done by the gas from A to C is equal to this plus this, thus that comes out to be equal to 12500 joules. So, the final answer for the work done by the gas comes out to be equal to 12500 joules. So, what we learned from this question was that uh, making a graph and in interpreting them to solve questions is uh, really very helpful. And we thus get the final answer for the pressure of the gas to be 4.4 into 10 raised to the power 4 pascals. The volume of the gas to be 113 liters and the work done by the gas to be equal to 12,500 joules in the whole process.